Hi everyone! Today I want you to join me for another outdoor painting expedition. Today I'm going to be experimenting with a new type of painting material that I have tried a few times before, and those are watercolor pencils. Watercolor pencils are made from watercolor paint that has been dried and compressed and basically turned into a pencil. You can use it just like you would a regular colored pencil, but when you apply water to it, it turns into paint and reacts much the same way that a regular watercolor paint would. I'm going to be using the watercolor pencils to sketch and paint a field near my house. This is the field where I went walking just about every day last year in the spring and summer when we were in the quarantine lockdown. I felt like I needed to get out of the house and walk and see open air and open sky and this was the little field where I always went. Because I was there almost every day, I got to see the landscape change with the seasons. When I was little, I used to spend a lot of time exploring the woods near my house and I was used to watching the seasons change. I knew which plants would come up in the spring and which trees would get the greenest in the summertime. I knew where you could find berries and acorns in the fall, and then in the winter I knew all of the best little spots where there would be snow and evergreen leaves. But since I grew up, I haven't been able to spend as much time outdoors as I would like, so I got a little bit of that back last year. So during the spring, this area has lovely pink flowers and it also has red clover that blooms all over the place. It has some of the pink flowers that I've seen growing all over Texas. And I apologize, I am not a wildflower expert, so I don't know the names of a lot of the flowers that I love to look at, but I've been working on learning them. So you can see that I am building up layers with these pencils. The one real difference that I notice between the pencils and regular watercolor paint is that it's more difficult to get a truly dark, opaque shade of paint. I've tried building layers of the pencils up to get more of that really dark, vivid paint but as you can see, it's still not as dark as I would like, so I'm trying another layer of pencil on top. Another thing that I've noticed with the watercolor pencils is that after you apply the first layer of water and basically turn your pencils into paint, the paper gets very soft, and when you apply pencil on top of the soft, slightly wet paper, the pencil can leave a groove in the paper. You know how if you draw too hard across a sheet of paper, it leaves a groove that will stay there even if you erase the pencil mark. That's basically what's happening here. So I'm getting a lot of grooves and texture in my paint that I don't really like. However, I do like the fact with watercolor pencils, I can pack them up in a box and take a lot of them along with me and then open them up and pick out any color I want and just start sketching. With watercolor paint it's a little bit more difficult and messy to take a lot of different colors along with you on a sketching trip, although it's certainly still possible. You may have seen me use my watercolor box in other videos where I have lots of my colors organized and ready to go. So I do like these pencils. What I think I'm going to do next time is experiment more with a combination of my regular watercolor paints and watercolor pencils. So I think I might start off with an underlayer of the pencils while the paper is still dry 
and then use watercolor paint on top of the pencils to finish off the rest of the painting. I hope this video inspires you to go out in nature and observe the seasons changing. See what flowers are blooming, what kind of grass is growing by the side of the road, which trees have pollen falling, and maybe get out your sketchbook and draw a picture. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video.